And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Victor Ezreal to start the day off. We're going to be playing four pretty interesting decks that you don't see too much of. This one, I guess, is maybe the most common with Victor and uh, Ezreal. Then we're going to have a Professor Lulu Shen deck. That's a Lulu Shen with Professor Vanya. And we'll have Vladimir Swain with Bilgewater and the self damage units um, from Bilgewater that will deal damage to level up the Swain and also. Um, survive damage to level up Vladimir, and then an aggressive, uh, elusive deck with Zoe and Zed after that. All right, so this is a deck that we played a few weeks ago, and it looked pretty good, and I've, I've updated it, made some changes, um, you know, hopefully improved it for our current metagame with Ezreal and Victor, with um, Victor. Uh, just a, a fun champion to play. This is one that's you know not necessarily like the best kind of champion, but I I really like playing this because it's it's a champion that just kind of you play it and sit behind and it just uh, turn after turn you get to keep on creating these hex core upgrades and casting them and and increasing Victor's power because of the augment and giving it a whole bunch of keywords. And it's just a fun card to play, but we're gonna play that with um, Ezreal in a Shadow Isles deck. No go hards, especially now with go hard. Um, you know, with the, the five mana and before, whenever we played this before we started with go hard and got rid of the go hard and our deck performed a little better because we, we just need, uh, we need more ways to be able to kill some, uh, three health champions because three health champions are just so important in this current meta game. So we're going to have cards like, uh, Black Spear, Aftershock, Gotcha, Grass the Undying, all of those be able to uh, take out those kind of things. Then if our opponent's going wide, we're going to have Withering Whale in here, um, to help finish games. Um, against like these slower decks, we're going to have Ledros Atrocity, or even just Atrocity could be awesome with like a, a very large Victor with the Augment, or maybe we have a very large Ballistic Bot, either of those with the Augment, and so um, Atrocity could be pretty sweet with any with either of those. And then, uh, let's see, then, uh, then of course it's great with Ledros as well. So yeah, we're going to have a control deck where we're going to be trying to just, uh, you know, slow them down con and control the board, have our champions... Um, or Ledros take over. They kill our champions. We bring them back with Rekindler. All right, so let's let's give us a try. Victor Ezreal should be pretty cool. Our deck can kind of do a little bit of everything. Yeah, the MK card, MK1. That's a card that I don't necessarily love, but I remember last time that we played this deck, it was actually really nice because it is, you know very cheap removal and whenever you have like ballistic bot and victor in play that you're wanting to sp spend one mana each turn on each one of their created cards every turn you do have less mana than what your opponent's going to have and so having something like the mk um did work out pretty well last time zoe leona let's get rid of everything start over this would be a very good like that's the other thing is a lot of people are playing zoe and the MK card is going to be pretty good against Zoe's. Okay, so the ignition will do a good job of turning on the nightfall for us. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. Prime and ready. Rise, metal brethren. Cause, so, if I do play... So ordinary. Oh, maybe I'll just take it. Alright, so if I play Doom Beast here, then you know, I'm not going to have extra mana for created cards for next turn. So that's probably okay. Wait, so they're playing Shadow Isles? What are they doing in Shadow Isles? We have, like, Vengeance, Ruination, Atrocity, Unspeakable Horror. Some yuck. Answer to me. Let's 
Just three damage. I'll go ahead and take it. Shade Stalker. That's not the best. I can just, you know, like, play Evershade Stalker here, attack for two, it dies, and then my Black Spear is enabled, and I can do four damage or something. But of course, with Leona being like a 4 7, Black Spear is not going to kill it. What do we get here? Tough? Tough's cool. So we got Fearsome Tough. That's pretty cool. So next turn we'll have 7 mana. So I will have enough for Vengeance. So it's, it's basically, you know, like, do I want to cast the Ignition or not? That's kind of the question. And... I guess so. I'll still have Ignition plus Hexcore upgrade mana. Right, like, the Hexcore upgrade is the, the more important card. Not too surprised there. I'm making that I'm making this block. It's just or you like I'm gonna block five of it. Do we do we block another five for the bot? I guess so. I, I don't love you know, I obviously obviously the ballistic bot's pretty useful. I wish I wasn't killing it right here. And that's okay. That that's honestly pretty good for me. Cause like that's just uh, like, this is just a 2-2, the Solari Soldier, so, like, they just turned, like, Hush is a great card, and all they did was just turn Hush into a generic 2-2, right? Like, if they don't do that, their 2-2 is not here. So that is certainly a good trade for me. Taking a card as valuable as Hush, especially when I'm playing Victor, right? Like, taking the card as valuable as Hush and just turning it into a 2-2. Alright, so obviously I don't want to obliterate it because of Rekindler, so let's go Atrocity and throw it at... I mean, these are just like 3-2, 1-2, 2-2s. Two, like, it may be better just to get rid of this 3-2 than do 7 to their Nexus. Like, that... I don't think that there's not that much difference between them being at 12 and them being at 19, to be honest. But this could help, help me, you know, go with a longer game. I'm gonna go this. Yeah, I think I just don't think there's that much difference between 12 and 19. And that's true. They do have they do have healing as well. Like we've seen them play star shaping. Arm yourselves with holy sunlight. Targon cards are pretty silly. 9-8 elusive with spell shield. Like, I don't really know how that's very fair. Yeah, I have I have another vengeance in the deck. 
that's kind of what we'd be relying on, I guess, is the other vengeance. Um, or just combining <laughs> like all three of these, Black Spear, Mystic Shot, and Gotcha. This only grants the one victor that, like, if we could get another, put two victors into play, but they don't, they don't both get the keywords. So I guess I might as well do that anyway, because the augment, they'll both get the augment. The dawn has arrived. Sunlight glides. So, yeah, cause that's so that's the only one that got it. Um, these Evershade Stalkers, they are going to be like created cards that if w once we like level up Victor, Evershade Stalker is actually going to cost zero. Like this is you know like we're probably going to like they have this nine eight elusive, so we're going to die. But I'm just saying like this could be something cool that could happen. Is like we could have like zero mana Evershade Stalkers. Like that's kind of cool. Like, obviously, we're probably, you know, like, we're, like, this game's probably over, but I'm just kind of saying that could be cool. Yeah, as a new player, you consider all celestial cards as unfair. Yeah, they're... I can understand that. They are not exactly fair. Yeah, like it's not exactly fair. Oh, really? All right, same region combination. Hopefully, uh, some smaller things there. Keep this mystic shot. Yeah, elusive and spell shield. We were peaceful once. It's like, did it did it really need the did it really need the spell shield too? While I could unspeakable horror this spacey sketcher, it's also just a 1 1. I don't feel like I need to use that right now. I like how our deck has looked, though. It, it's looked pretty cool. You know, sure, we're 0 1 right now, but like, we're doing some pretty cool stuff. Daylight warms the heart and lights the Invoke way. is just really lame. Hey, Dynamito. Dynamito. Awesome. Really glad helping you uh, build build new decks and everything like that. Glad to hear. Glad you're enjoying the YouTube vids. I guess. I guess I should be doing a uh, death ray because of Pale Cascade, and like they're they're kind of telling me that Pale Cas Cascade by attacking with that two two. Ledros. How's it going? Challenger. Let my stars guide all travelers onward. Analyzing approach. Have faith. Have faith. 
Yeah, we, I have one atrocity, one Ledros. No, uh, Victor Victor just reduces the cost of created cards. The Ledros won't be a created card. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. So it will not be cost re reduced. With both of these being fast spells, I want to play the Aftershock right now. Like if I, so if I go like Mystic Shot, which you know works better, and then they go like Pale Cascade, then I got an Unspeakable Horror, and they have something else. You know, like then I'm, I'm kind of like never able to play the uh, kind of never never able to play the aftershock played all this stuff and still have just as many cards in hand as I do with all these things just replacing themselves you know Solari priestess makes a traveler that makes something else our light grows brighter Really hope this works. Really hope no more Pell Cascades or Nightfall cards. Yay! Because any Nightfall card would have leveled up Diana, which would have made this not work. My other, my safer option was just to cast the Glimpse Beyond right there. So quick attack challenger overwhelm. That's not bad. Oh. Yeah, I should challenge the two two so I could have death rate it. That's just, that was just a bad play by me. That was a bad play by me. My work. That's probably going to cost me this game. Humanity is obsolete. Yeah, Targon's pretty fun, right? Hush and a bunch of Celestials and Hush. What a fun region. And here's where I'd paint my Thank you, Dynamito. Thank you so much. Ranked with Shivana. Okay, I can I can do that for sure. Thanks for thanks for the donation there. I'll put this down. Okay, will do. Thank you. Thank you, Dynamito. How are these things fair? these things fair. Can you improve perfection? So am I going all spells here or am I playing the Ledros and putting their life total down to nine first? So like 
We put him down to nine. We hit him for two. Put him down to seven. I guess we can probably kill them. So if they don't have, if they don't have like another hush or something, I guess I can. Uh, yeah. Sure. Just the exact same, exact same thing. I guess that's just the thing. You just put it. I guess that's the thing today. Just absolutely huge Mister. celestials that have spell shield and then atrocity of them. All right. Well, this third Zoe deck, third Targon deck with celestials, but this one doesn't have atrocity, at least. So that's kind of good. <laughs> yeah, Sideways says I, I hesitate to build a deck right now that doesn't have Targon in it. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I've talked about that a lot before. It's, you know, I've said that, you know, if we'd be doing the, uh, what's it called, the seasonal tournament, I would be playing three Targon decks. And, you know, like they would all have Invoke as a core part of the deck. Gives to those who listen. All the, like there are so many good Targon champions, and you know it's not it's not difficult to split them up. And you can even play like two champions of another region, and then just play Targon and play all the invoke stuff. Something you can do too. So I'm I'm worried about like if I play Aftershock on the Eye of the Dragon right now, then they play like a Zoe afterwards and attack me with a Zoe. If I pass, I'm only losing two mana, I guess. I am prepared. The glorious evolution. That means illusion forever. Evolution. Casting like the MK2 is like good for me right now to put the MK3 into my deck like where it's I draw the MK3 more likely the next turn, but then they also just have like the mana that they're not using. A pleasure to see you, Master. Um. You must do better. Oh, they only have one mana left. They're probably not gonna have a spell for one mana. I should use both of these and kill the Lisa in and cut my Victor alive. But I have a, I have another Victor. Like that Victor was just a, a three four anyway. So yeah, actually this this works out. Ooh. Ooh. I have my own Eye of the Dragon. That does sound pretty cool. Do not make me harm you, small child. You. Metal is perfection. Let's do it over there. The withering whale could be really useful if they, you know, go wide with a whole bunch of draglings. Alright, well now I'll cast it. Okay. Guess we get hit. And we are not going to make a Dragling next turn because both of our spells were stopped, so they don't count as being cast. They will be making the Draglings because they did cast those spells that stopped ours that deny Nopify. But of course, it's our attack turn. I don't really need to attack anyway. Not a big deal. They make those. I took out the the single copy of Give It All to be able to play the Ledros and Atrocity instead. I haven't been very impressed with my Glimpse Beyonds. They haven't looked very good. 
in these games. So we're going to get three <laughs> Draggolings next turn. Which is annoying. They don't stop this. Cool. We'll get it. Now they only get two draglings, and we also get a draggling. So that's good. I don't have any good answers for another Lee Sin, right? If they find a Lee Sin, um, good chance that we lose. Hopefully they don't find a Lee Sin. If they don't find a Lee Sin, I like our chances. puppy. Yes, of course. You do not know this this only grants this will only grant the victor that creates it a keyword unfortunately since this victor has spell shield the other victor doesn't get the keyword. I wish it I wish it worked like that. I wish both victors could get keywords. Come on. I'm I'm we're putting in work over here getting two victors in play. They should both get the keywords. Up, Ezreal. All right, this is the one on the right. It doesn't help specify it, but I think that's the one on the right. I think I think we're getting this one a keyword. No materials, no improvements. Okay, that one has fury. The worst keyword. That's too bad because with that stopping, that's going to uh, keep my Ezreal. Like my Ezreal is not going to be leveled up now. I want to make this trade because I want the extra room for the draggling, but we're not going to have room for the draggling now. Once I stand papers, now faces, our goals are greater than the defile System upgrade? Yes, of course. I would like, like, this one to get regeneration. That would be kind of cool. Join the conflagration. I want the other one first. Ingenious. I'm doing the one on the, the the one on the right first. Maybe gets like the spell shield. Okay, it gets overwhelmed. Looking into the future, I see. What does the other one get? Quick attack. There we go. Genius in action. 
This is pretty sweet. Give him all those spells. You know, we'll see what they can have to keep the Eye of the Dragons alive. This is pretty sweet. Like, I like our deck. You know, like, we yeah, we ran into a couple of uh, Targon decks that had very good hands and invoked and Atrocity does. This deck does seem pretty sweet. So like Thermogenic Beam may be like one of my only things to like kill a Lee Sin. But of course they could they'll probably be able to barrier a Lee Sin anyway. Let's play the level up Ezreal. The world's a big place. Let's see all of So now with the level up Ezreal, all these spells that we're creating that cost zero, they all deal damage to my opponent. And like these unspeakable horrors, whenever they create these nightfall cards, the nightfall cards will cost two less mana. Um, this thing has elusive now too. I have to be a little worried about hush. They got like double hush. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? I mean, I can just kind of pass, right? They can't really kill me, right? It's not bragging if you could back it up. Like how they're passing and just like wasting all this mana and stuff. All right, fine. We'll play Ledros. I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe I should be passing. A Terrative Improvement Ledros is kind of cool. We'll test them out. Do they have double hush? They have to have like something else and then also hush because we have a spell shield, the elusive, it has scout, it has fearsome, so then they would have to block with like these things. And then, of course the quick attack. Like they, they have to have something to break the spell shield and then hush. Which they do. Yep, they had double hush. Uh, what's my worst case scenario? They probably have it. Yeah, they did. They put the other victor back into my hand with um, Will of Ionia. See, I should just pass the turn with the 10 mana. Instead of doing all this. called it but we should still be able to kill them from two you know we should still be able to kill them fairly easily right like i guess are they gonna have a third hush for this ezreal now that's pretty unlikely right a third hush testing them out all right well now they definitely do not have a hush I don't, yeah, I just don't, I don't think challenging the 1-1 one is the right play, because I don't, I don't even want the 1-1 one one to die, like the Mentor of the Stones. I mean, I could have challenged, like, the Eye of the Dragon, I guess, but. 
It's alright, this game's over now. Our board just isn't going to look as cool at the end of this game as it, as it would have a little bit ago. doesn't look as cool, but they did have the double hush. Alright, GG's. Okay, Draven Ezreal. This is going to be interesting. I was wondering how we were going to... Because there are a lot of these kind of like Noxus Draven decks around these days. You know, just like this kind of deck. And I was, I was wondering how we're going to... Uh, do in this kind of matchup so I'm, I'm pretty interested about this um i like i kind of like our hands the unspeakable horror um, may not kill as much stuff as we really want it to so i could see mulliganing this the aftershock gets rid of both champions the iterative improvements just a nice solid card obviously victor is good yeah captain farron could definitely kill us that's what i'm i'm not sure, you know, like, I'm just not sure how we're going to do in this matchup. It's Draven time. I can't really afford me playing Ezreal. They, they go thermogenic beam my Ezreal. You know, attack. I can't afford them to just continue to make more spinning axes. I have the best job. Draven. So they're still up a mana. One size that papers now faces. That I am superior life form. Safety disengaged. Mana next turn. Time for a true display of skill. Watch and learn. Gotcha. Could definitely be a waste. I, obviously, I wish I could cast that Mystic Shot. Can you improve perfection? Five for Ezreal. Man, these house spiders are awesome. I can't really block with Ezreal because of, you know, spinning axe. Ignition. So these trade, but um, you know it gets that out of here, so it's not just creating those ignitions, which are of course awesome. I don't miss. No way. The time of machine 
This has been a really good game. They've had a very good hand. It's been difficult to slow down. Very difficult to slow down. Yeah, their, their hand was perfect. <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah, that was perfect. I need, like, lifesteal and some way to keep this thing alive. <laughs> I hope we make another another one of, like, the, the uh, Doom Beasts. That'd be good. No. put me down to nine, which doesn't exactly, you know, like, dec two decimates don't exactly kill me. That was about as good as I could hope for, but, um, you know, any other kind of burn spell with, with two decimates, like, you know, like, we are, like, 95% dead, but we're not 100% dead. It's like, obviously, their deck's all about Nexus damage, and then, yeah, like, that, that just to my Nexus would kill me, or to the Mountain Go kills me either way. Well, great game. That was a that was a good learning experience. They had an amazing hand there with the double Draven with those spinning axes and then double, you know, the double house fighter. They also had the, um, you know, that, that they just, they just kind of had everything. They even had the uh, Arach the Arachnoid Sentry Ravenous Flock combo, and then you know they had the Tri Beam that makes the Mountain Goat. A great thing for that, and then and then still Captain Farron on turn eight. Captain Farron is. Unbeatable, like always. Uh, that was a great hand. Alright, and Timo Sadwani. So we've seen all three of these losses, we've lost to the exact same card, basically. We've lost to, um, you know, like a 9-8 a elusive spell shield celestial with atrocity. A 10-7 Overwhelm Celestial with Atrocity, and then Captain Farron, the 8-8 eight, eight, um, Overwhelm that makes all those decimates. So, like, we're basically losing to a very huge unit combined with a ton of Nexus damage. Like, that combination. Besides that, like, our decks looked our decks looked good, and it's felt good, and everything else, like, has felt like, like we can keep it in check. But that combination of a very difficult, hard to kill, huge unit with a ton of Nexus damage. Two, three, four. Put those together and then we're in trouble. Armed and ready. You would think that, like, not that many decks could do that. Put that combination together. Well, we have been playing against, like, all sorts of decks that have done that. So Ezreal doesn't... I kind of want a Starlet Seer. Or, like, I could see if they play, like, a Puffcat Peddler here and then get a Puffcat Peddler. I guess I don't have the mana to play the Puffcat Peddler, though. 
I probably should have just taken a Starless here. Yeah, I should have just taken a Starless here. Flesh is a weakness we must shed. Think I'm still like a yodeling uniform. I guess a chump pump would be really good for us. It's created puff caps are created cards for Victor. An auspicious season. <laughs> Don't blink or you miss me. By snow and star with mushrooms could talk. Or once, am I right? And there we go. That's the that is the card. Oh, an auspicious season. Metal is perfection. That is the best card. It's the worst card for me to see. It's also the best card for me to, to get. It is Z card. Carved from the savage cold. Well, that's not good. Now I have to vengeance. Born for that mean, which means if I'm vengeancing, I'm taking a ton of damage. No sweat. They can't just give me any time to set up. So much pressure. Metal is perfection. All right, Death Ray, I like you. So this is this would be five, six, seven. Oh, I forgot about like the whole Ezreal make a mystic shot. I, I probably should have just attacked with Ezreal first. I was just focused on this other stuff. One shot, all skill. This would be a good winter. Genius in action. Electro completed. I've always been a fun guy. Who goes I want that MK2 back into my deck. It's a good card to draw. It's not going to have a puff cap. And it's, just, it's a very good card to draw. So Victor's at three, Ezreal's at five. Now it's kind of about Sejuani for them. As long as they don't have another Sejuani, I feel pretty good about this. I am not sure if I'm going to be aftershocking the Hexcore Foundry or not, or if I just let it go. We haven't gotten lifesteal on any of these like victors yet. Lifesteal would be awesome. Oh, that's a harvest right there. This would be a good winter. Oh, an auspicious season. My pretty. Never lifesteal. 
All right, so I'm at 25 puff caps. At 12. What a mushroom help! Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't count on targeting that doesn't count as targeting an em, an an enemy. Wow, that was difficult to say. Okay, we haven't had anything die for Rekindler. I don't miss. So Tawani's only at two. Ooh, an elusive scout overwhelm tough? I should play the Doom Beast and attack with the Doom Beast too, shouldn't I? This is me drawing more more cards that can be more puff caps. So realistic that I shouldn't even be, be, be playing that card. Actually worked out pretty good. I'm playing the I'm playing the Doom Beast that can be a, a pretty good blocker. I'd rather have the Doom Beast block this 4-3 than the Ezreal. You must do better. Yeah, it's kind of all about all about Sejuani. Like they're they've they haven't drawn a unit in a long time, so they could have like a they could have like a 12 power Sejuani here, honestly, or something like really ridiculous like that. And that can kill me. But if they if they don't have that. I think, you know, like, we're we're definitely winning this unless they have that. And so, yeah, I want to reduce their chances of drawing something silly like that. We got life steal. Regeneration. I got ways to form in <laughs> there they go. The 15, 14. Yeah, see, like that plus 11, plus 11. Like, imagine that was on a Sejuani last turn. That would have killed us. Mm. You're like one away from leveling up. Let's cast this. Our deck's d done some really cool things. Oh, an auspicious season. Oh, take your time, pal. It's not like I've got better things to do. <laughs> yeah, I assume this is GG's, but I don't know, because like that's four damage to them. Yeah, like I have like these things to do a whole bunch more damage. <laughs> Taking out a blocker. All right, so both cards in their hand are spells. Yeah, I, I can't. I don't really see them surviving. Uh, 
They do not. It's unfortunate, you know, with doing that, doing all that damage with the Ezreal, I don't get to attack my, you know, 11 power scout elusive and everything. Easy. Like my name. Well, this deck was really cool. This is a cool Ezreal Victor deck. I liked, I liked all like the different removal and like the MKs were honestly really good. That was a card that I wanted to see a lot uh, early on. I think that the the worst card in our deck was the Black, or sorry, the Glimpse Beyond. The Glimpse Beyond was the worst card. Um, I could definitely see changing those up for something else, and maybe we need, maybe we could use like a little bit more Nexus healing and a little bit more ways to kill really large units. Um, both of those would be kind of nice. Um, and you know, maybe another Vengeance or. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess that that kind of just be the card. Maybe just another vengeance, and um, and I guess I guess we do kind of always need card draw though. So maybe like a vengeance and a give it all, or a progress day. You know, like maybe like two more of these big things instead of like the glimpse beyond draw two. We just have like some big effects. We'll probably say something like that. You know, maybe we don't. You know, maybe a maybe a ruination in here with having like rekindler to rebuild. This deck needs, we need like star shapings <laughs> or something like stopping, stopping, stopping Captain Farron is just super, super difficult. You know, even if you have vengeance for it, just all like all those decimates it makes, it's super difficult. I, I don't know what our, like our best option is against Captain Farron. So yeah, may, but maybe a, a vengeance and then maybe just like a progress day instead of the glimpse beyond, or maybe just play one glimpse beyond, um, I'll just keep one gl glimpse beyond in here for now, but you know, so basically maybe take one out for a vengeance. But um, all of those, all those decks were kind of the same thing that we struggled with, right? Like the very large, um, very large unit, you know, some you know either with spell shield or with overwhelm. But like even like the cat, like the Captain Farron game, they played Captain Farron. I vengeance did immediately. I had vengeance for it, but then they just create three decimates, and I can't just stop like three dec. You know, like they they were able to go wide with like the house spiders, and then they just you know kill me with three decimates and i can't stop that so yeah i don't i don't know what you really do about captain farron <laughs> that's that's a tough one but I, I liked our deck we got to do some really cool stuff and i think that basically any like i think that there's uh, yeah i think this deck could be like pretty good against a lot of the metagame i think that that that's really going to be about all that you're going to struggle with is like captain farron uh would probably be en enemy number one for this deck and then the other two decks that we played against were just decks that could get the the huge, um, you know, the huge units with all of the invoke stuff, and then and then they had atrocity backup also. That's not something you see very often, right? Like I haven't really been playing against that hardly at all, but we played against it twice today to begin with. You know, your invoke atrocity decks. I don't know if that's suddenly going to be popular or something, but that hasn't that hasn't been something that I've seen kind of at all before but we saw that uh in those two games there correct yeah yeah so the life gain would help with against decimates that's why i was saying like we need like a star shaping in here or something like that but there's there's not like that great of options for gaining as much life as you need for for like something that's that aggressive in this kind of uh deck like maybe another withering whale instead of this glimpse beyond that could you know that could be a way to heal your nexus um, you know, like we have like the Doom Beasts in here. You know, like we have some. You know, like we got like the Doom Beast, the Grass, the Withering Whale right now, um, and we have the ability to copy uh, Doom Beast also with the iterative improvement. But yeah, we kind of need some more. All right, but anyway, that's Victor Ezreal, and then yeah, if if we're lucky, we get the Life Steal with the Victor, but that never happened. But if we're lucky, we get that. Pretty cool deck here, though. I, I really like it. I recommend trying it out if you like if you like playing Victor decks and you want like so something new for Victor. Give this one a try. Um, you know, uh, yeah, try some games out with it and let me know how it goes. Let me know how you do against some of those larger units or um, just the other parts of the metagame. But like all the aggro decks, like I think this deck's gonna be good against aggro. Uh, so you know, like if you're playing against a lot of like discard burn and stuff like that, I, I think this deck could actually be pretty good in those matchups and again may maybe instead of this glimpse beyond maybe you just put in another withering will to really help out that matchup even more 
but like yeah all like the, those kind of matchups and even like scouts like i think like this deck would be good against scouts i think it's just it's kind of just like captain farron and then really large invoke things like i think that that's going to be um those are going to be the things that can defeat you but i think that like you know your scouts and your discard burn and all that kind of stuff i think this deck would be really good in those matchups and even like your your uh um your fiora zoe they're just like a lot of your zoe decks like your zoe zoe lee sin we saw that one felt like that felt like a pretty good matchup all right but there we go that's uh victor ezreal so those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button like i said leave those comments and i would really appreciate that but anyway uh thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video